Welcome to whiskey.com. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning, and I'm the master taster of whiskey.com. Today I present the Linkwood, 25 years old, from the independent bottler Gordon MacPhail from Elgin, Scotland, with an ABV of 43%. It's a bottling from an independent bottler, which means that the casks were bought by this company, Gordon MacPhail, 25 years ago, <coughs> filled uh, with the uh, fresh raw whiskey from the distillery of Linkwood and then they matured these casks the bottling uh, results out of several casks uh, for 25 long years in their own warehouses um, <clears throat> I know of older not older of previous bottlings uh, where the sherry casks were more uh, active and the color with this whiskey is not colored was even darker and they were sweeter so today this is a refill sherry cask or several refill sherry casks and the whiskey hmm, might not be that sweet as one would suggest out of a sherry cask <clears throat> these bottles uh, are called uh, the distillery labels serious. Um, since 1895 Gordon MacPhail has worked with the majority of Scotland distilleries to build up an impressive portfolio of some of the world's most renowned single malt Scotch whiskies. Casks owned by Gordon MacPhail are sent to distilleries throughout Scotland and filled with new make spirit before being left to mature at the distillery or in bonded warehouses in Elgin in northeast Scotland. In the distilleries is getting rare and rare. They need their space themselves. So today 99% of all the casks uh, lie at the independent bottlers. Working in partnership with the individual distillery owners, each whiskey in our distillery labels range is uniquely labeled. In years gone by many of these exclusive designs were used to officially bottle the whiskey under license from the distillery. This is the main point. License bottled. Today relationships with distillery owners enable Garner MacPhail to bottle a special range of whiskies at various strengths and ages, each with its own distinctive distillery label. <clears throat> and this Linkwood label uh, has this bird on it, a falcon, whatever it is, 25 years old, quite old. And the back label, some writings there, the distillery was built in, 19, in 1821, quite early, by Peter Brown, the factor of the Seafield estates of Moray and Banffshire, and is named after Linkwood House the family home. Fresh aromas, hay-like notes with a defined toasted malt nose, hints of candied fruit and delicate sherry influences come to the fore. A delicate and balanced hint of peat smoke emerges. <clears throat> yes, Linkwood is a distillery for the blend whiskey industry. Most of the whiskey, 99% of the whiskey from Linkwood is going into the big blends like Johnny Walker or J&B <clears throat> and only very few casks uh, find their way uh, to Gordon MacPhail and uh, rest there for years and years and uh, the distillery and the owners of the distillery which is Diageo the world's largest uh, alcoholic producer alcohol producer in the world or alcoholic drinks producer uh, owns also the Linkwood distillery. <clears throat> Typically these independent, bottle, independent bottles from Gordon MacPhail are not single cask bottlings. Uh, they are diluted to drink strength, 43%, and they are a mixture of three, five, eight, seldom more than eight casks because the vetting uh, container or the, the vat itself does not uh, carry more than the content of eight casks. <clears throat> uh, so we have uh, an even 
uh, aroma of the distillery itself. And 25 long years uh, bring uh, a lot of influence of the cask, of the oak staves of the casks uh, into this whiskey. So the distillery character is yeah, somewhat pushed in the back and the casks is, his cask is taking over or the casks are taking, have taken over. Ah, quite fresh. Astonishing fresh for such an old whiskey. There's a freshness. I don't think it's hay. It's like flowers and a little bit of malt, but the roasted malt, I don't know. And then there's some sherry coming up, but not much. There's more oakiness. Spice from the oak. And in the very, very back you find the citrus uh, from the distillery character, which is quite often <clears throat> seen or filled uh, in this Bayside area of Scotland, of the Highlands. A little bit of vanilla is appearing. But the spiciness is hmm, very strong. So <clears throat> this is a refill sherry cask, which means it was used for uh, maturing sherry in Spain, then came up to Scotland, was filled the first time by a particular whiskey, then uh, refilled by fresh whiskey. And this is the result of this second filling in Scotland. So a refill is a second or even a third or fourth filling. Uh, the color uh, speaks for a second filling of the cask. <clears throat> Time for a sip. Hmm. Hmm. Bitterness. Not this sweet chocolate bitterness, no. Sweet, dark chocolate bitterness, no. It's just bitterness. Chocolate very far away. A lot of spice. And a little bitter. Now the bitterness is leaving and the oak uh, remains on your tongue and the back of your mouth. And a little yeah, smokiness appears. Yeah, it's there. It's very, very light, like four or five ppm. Very light. No, perhaps not. Difficult to say. There is, reminds me of a light smokiness. From the peat fire drying the malt. The aftertaste is long, very long. Oh. Oh. 25 years is a long period for maturation in a sherry cask, <clears throat> so that the oak staves of the cask give a lot of tannins and bitter aromas into the whiskey and the sweet fruity sherry which reside, <coughs> resided uh, <coughs> in former times in the sherry cask is long gone, is gone with the first filling and the second filling has a little bit of sherry left but most of the tannins and the oakiness. So 25 years sucking up the oakiness. And there's this fresh hay-like aroma combining with the smoke to a yeah the fresh spiciness yeah not that <laughs> cheap this bottle is around a hundred euros dollars pounds whatever so it's not one of the cheap ones 
Thank you for watching and stay tuned.